Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, mad creators, to another issue of Making Comics 101. This is a bonus issue. This week, we're talking about perspective, and we're. I've got one more thing I want to show you, and this is probably the most awesome thing, so hopefully you'll get a lot of use out of this. Now, uh, for this, we are working in Clip Studio Paint. This is the EX version. We're going to talk about these perspective tools, but I believe those tools are, tools are also available in the Pro version. It's a little confusing when I think Pro, I think that's probably the version with the more, most features, but in this case, I think it's EX. The good thing is Clip Studio Paint isn't terribly expensive for what you get, and it's probably my top recommend as far as if you're going to create comics digitally, this is the program you need to get. I mean, it just, I mean, these perspective grids that I'm going to show you alone is, is worth the cost of admission. I mean, this the, these are just revolutionize the way that I do perspective. I would not go back to doing it any other way. So let me show you how this works. Now, uh, well, I'm going to show you one, two, and three point perspective. So I've just quickly sketched out a little box in one point perspective. Uh, as you can see uh, right here, we're going to have some vanishing uh, a vanishing point that goes over here and then just our horizon line just the one single vanishing point uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we are gonna go up here to the layer tab here we're gonna go down to ruler frame and then create perspective ruler we're gonna click on that and we're gonna go up to one point perspective because as I said this is a one point perspective drawing we're gonna click OK that is going to create a perspective ruler layer right here uh, over here I want to draw your attention to this little tool here this is the object tool this little square that's highlighted which means now what we can do is we can select these guides and we can kind of move them over so all we have to do is click on those since the object tool is activated uh, and we can move our horizon line up and down uh, just by grabbing this uh, little green square right here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep the horizon line pretty much right in the middle of my square here now right here we have we can also we can move here we can move our vanishing point over here with this blue dot so but let's move it over here and then what we can do is we can grab these little, you see these little dots here, these little circles. We can go here and we can grab that one. Now this bottom line's lining up, but not the top one so much. So let's see, maybe we have to move this over a little bit more. Let's move this down. We can move that. Not quite exact. Let's Let's try this. That's pretty close, I think. Not exact, but that's pretty close. So, all right, so now that we've got our grids in place, what we want to do is we want to create another ruler because we don't want to draw on the actual perspective ruler. So we want to create another layer here. All right, so new layer, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my pen tool or pencil, whatever you want to draw with. Um, and I also want to show you up here these uh, there is a tool here, I'm going to hover over it, where it says snap to special ruler. That should automatically click on, uh, but you want to make sure that that is on, and that's going to make sure everything we draw is going to snap to these rulers that we've created. So I'm going to go up. Now, now you can't see, but I'm trying to wobble my line. See how I'm going back and forth? It's not. That's not doing it. It's, it's sticking to that ruler. All right. And then we can go down here. We can go up there. Go across here. Everything is just going to snap to that ruler. All right. Now, say if we don't want it to snap to that ruler, all we have to do is click that off. Like, say if we want to have a little arch here, maybe. I'll turn that back on. You know, we could do something like that. And then we'll turn it off again. Kind of have our arch. You know, it's pretty, uh, it's a little rough, but, but you get the point. So there, we've just pretty much drawn like a barn, but with our rulers on, you know, we can go in here, we can add, if we wanted to add a barn door, we could do that. But everything we draw is going to, oh, oh so sometimes it's going to snap to the, the wrong ruler and we just have to go in, we kept it. 
keep trying there. And then if we wanted to make like that X, that Z form on our barn door, of course, we're going to have to turn that off. And then we can go ahead and, you know, we can draw that. But anyway, so there we go. That is one point perspective. Let's move on to two point perspective. Once again, I've drawn a little cube in two point perspective. I'm going to go over to the layer. We're going to go to ruler frame create perspective ruler. We're going to click two point perspective. Click OK on that. We've got our little object tool selected here. Once again, I'm just going to keep my horizon line right about here. I'm going to have to bring my one vanishing point off here a little bit. We're going to grab these circles. We're going to drag them where we want so they kind of line up with our sketch here. Same thing here. We'll drag this up. This one we can probably maybe, well, maybe this needs to go back a little bit. Let's see. I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to get my pen tool and make sure that that is on snap to the special ruler. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start drawing my lines and they're snapping automatically to that those guides that we made. Now you probably what you want to do when you're designing this is you want to do this light maybe like a blue line or maybe you want um, just to do, do a, you know a light pencil sketch and then you can go in and you can add and things like that. But I just want to show you how, no matter where, where I draw, if I wanted to draw another building back here in the background, everything is going to follow those perspective guides that we created. It's just, um, it just really is amazing. So there you go. That's two-point perspective. Let's move to something a little more complicated, three-point perspective. And with this one, we're going to also make things a little more interesting and do a bird's eye view. So we're gonna go once again to, we're gonna go to uh, ruler frame, create perspective ruler and three point perspective. Whoa, look at all those lines. It's starting to get confusing, but uh, it doesn't have to be so confusing. All right, let's, uh, let's click on these. We've got our vanishing point here. Now, because this is a bird's eye view or and not our vanishing point, but our horizon line. We're going to drag our horizon line up here because we're looking down, all right? Now that we've done that, we can sort of drag our vanishing points over here. I'm just going to try to line that up over here. Same thing with this vanishing point. We're going to move that over here a little bit. Sort of, what happened? If something disappeared. <laughs> I don't see where it went. It's like, what is going on here? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but it's back. Okay, so we've got... We'll just move that and we'll end it up here. All right. Cool. So we've got two of our three vanishing points for our three-point perspective set up. This one's a little different because see how these this building is sort of tapering down into perspective? Uh, unfortunately, our vanishing point right now is up here, but that's pretty simple. We just We'll just grab that. We'll just, where is it? Oh, it's way up here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this blue dot here. We're just going to rotate that around and we're going to bring that down. So yeah, you can, you can not only move things left to right, side to side, but you can also just flip them around. So there we go. We've got all three of our uh, vanishing points for our three perspective drawing. We're going to make another layer. I'm going to grab my pen tool. And as you can see, once again, everything is just lining perfectly up with those guides that we laid down. Of course, uh, sometimes your eye is a little bit off. There we go. And we'll just continue that up there. We'll see how far this... Yes. Oh, that was pretty good. I lined it up pretty well right there. And you can continue if I want to continue with this building, make it a little taller. I can go through here, adding another layer on top of it. 
Now, like I said, if you were doing this in pencil, you could you can design all these things and then you can reduce the opacity and then go back over it, or you could just go in here with your, you know, your eraser and erase the lines you don't particularly want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And we can go in, we can, you know, we can start adding windows. Anything we draw is going to adhere to those perspective guides that we created. And put a want to put an entryway here. We can do that. I'm gonna put like a little, I don't know, a little exhaust antenna, whatever, something up here. We can do that. Yeah, it's just a, it's it's just great because once it's done, it's done. Once we've laid those out, I mean, we can go in here, we can, you know, make another building over here, and it is going to fall in that perspective, and we could just start building the whole city. I mean, perspective has never been easier, and there you go. And so there you go. That's it. That's uh, three point perspective. There's two point perspective, one point perspective, all using the perspective tools in Clip Studio Paint, formerly Manga Studio. Hope that was helpful. If you got this program, definitely take advantage of it. If you don't, maybe consider getting it because this, like I said, this is just, it's changed the way I do perspective. I can't believe I, I struggled with it so long before this, but that's how you do it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys later. That is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at CircWorks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. If you like making comics, then go to CircWorks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.